So we have Peplau's theory, and essentially the main idea is that the relationship between the nurse and the patient has to pass through several phases in order to become a successful one. Um, and so there's six stages, stranger, resource, teacher, leadership, surrogate, and counselor. And they go from levels of like, obviously stranger to more trustworthy all the way down to counselor. And so the stranger is where the nurse is able to accept the patient and treat them as emotionally stable and they can make their own decisions about their care. Um, and then resource is exactly what it says, that they act as an answer for the patient's issues. Teaching, if they teach the patient more in depth about their condition. Leadership, they provide guidance for what the patient, for identified needs, more like less physical and more like mental health issues and things like that. And then surrogate, see the difference in people and recognize how the nurse-patient relationship changes. And then counselor, it's this is assist patient with their feelings and meaning of illness. So that's more like of the mental health aspect. And then this theory is useful because it teaches nurses how to interact with patients and um, it allows patients to feel in control of their treatment. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna work from that stranger down to counselor again for my examples. So I'm gonna just like use like a patient who's coming in with a concern of anxiety. So first the nurse's role as a stranger would simply be to just like accept the patient and treat them as emotionally able. So this could manifest itself as just listening to your patient and their concerns and accepting the information they give you um, and understanding and adapting to their current emotions. And um, since we're talking about anxiety of the patient, if they brought in family, you would probably ask them to leave the room so that um, you could listen to your patient's um, actual concerns. And then being a resource is, again, just providing answers to problems. So um, you also need to understand what the person can handle psychologically at the time. So if a little little kid comes in with an anxiety issue as opposed to an adult, you would probably tell the kid um, answers in simpler terms than an adult. And for teaching, you would proceed from what the patient already knows and you could incorporate um, additional information. So if the patient knows about counseling services at school, you might acknowledge that information and then also possibly direct them to a therapist. Leadership is interacting and observing the manner on which the patient views healthcare. Um, for one example, so if the patient seems to be nervous sitting there in the room with you, it would probably be good to take note of that and also provide um, guidance on your on the issues presented and letting your patient know that it's okay to be nervous, but um, they could also practice like deep breathing with you and that could help them. And then the surrogate role is just an understanding that the patient nurse relationship changes over time. So this may have been like a patient you see all the time, but now this anxiety issue is something new. So it kind of changed your relationship with your patient and that's okay. And then in the counselor role, the nurse would observe the patient's response to what you're saying. So if the patient looks confused, the nurse should step back and explain things in a different way. Come in. Hi, Lola. My name's Olivia and I'll be your nurse today. You were brought into the hospital last night and you were in a diabetic coma. Is there anyone that you would like me to get into contact with for you? Could you call my mom? Yeah, sure. Does she live in the area? Would she be able to come and stay with you? She lives in Madison. Oh, okay. Why don't you write down her phone number for me? Okay. Perfect. Then I'll be back with your medication. Is there anything else I can grab you? Could you get me some ice cream? Unfortunately, I can't give you ice cream for breakfast, but I can offer you some healthier options such as fruit, yogurt, or eggs. What kind of yogurt do you have? We have strawberry and vanilla. Can I have vanilla? Of course. I'll be right back with that. Come in. Hi, Lola. I brought you back your medication and your yogurt. Awesome. When you're done eating, would you like to get ready? Yeah. Could you have the CNA come in and give me a shower? Actually, I work with the CNA as a team, so I'll be giving you your shower because that's still in my <coughs> job scope. Okay. Just let me know when you're done eating and we can go into the bathroom. Okay. Beep! Hi, Lola. Were you ready to do your daily activities? I am. Okay, perfect. I'll be right in. All right. 
Are you ready to get up and go to the bathroom? I am. Okay. Let me help you. Are you feeling dizzy at all? No. Okay. Let's go to the bathroom. You're doing a great job brushing your teeth. You could almost be independent. Okay, Lola. I have the shower all started for you. I'll make sure that you don't fall while you're in there. I'll stand outside, okay? Okay. Here's the towel. Thank you. I'm glad to see that you're all done showering. Let's go back and we'll get you back in bed. Okay. Okay. What else can I do for you while I'm in here? Um, could, I'm Christian. Could you go get me a chaplain? Of course I can. I noticed ever since you took a shower, you seem to be a little bit more upset. I am. I miss my dog. Oh, I'll get in contact and have the emotional support dog come and see you. Really? Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Hello, this is Olivia up on the sixth floor. Would you be able to have the emotional support dog Chester come? Oh, you can. Perfect. My patient Lola in room 617 would love to have a visit from Chester. Oh, you'll be there in 15 minutes? Perfect. Thank you. Come in. Hi, Lola. I was able to get in contact with your mom. Oh, how are my you? God, Mom. Hi, how are you? Um, I've been better. What's your problem? <laughs> um, the nurse told me I was in a diabetic coma. Oh, really? Yeah. It was kind of scary. I so, <laughs> so, I have some good news for you. Yeah. I was able to get Chester, our emotional support dog, to come up and visit you. So he should be in here soon. Yay! Flying pig! <laughs> <laughs> this oh my is God, Chester. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I hope you have some quality time with your mom. Oh my God, I need to take a picture of this. <laughs> Smile.